Flash like they assassins. Pick up my dough and BK. This honey passion. Got the spot on lock. Taking flicks around the corner. She made it where this spot ain't hot like a potato. She got 5 0 on the payroll. They sniffing yayo. I don't know what to say, yo. There they go. In front of the stove. Dressed in black shit. Tell my they demeanor. They be hustling back. What's fuck up? Came to do one thing. Assassinate them. That's it. That's all. Yes. How are you? I'm doing great, Jose. Uh, my name is David Duenas. I'm with my co-host, Gabriel Montoya. Welcome to Leave in the Ring Radio. Let me start. My, my first question is something I've always wondered, and I think fight fans wonder, the purpose of, of a sanctioning body, not just the WBC, but what is it that a sanctioning body does in order to help make a fight happen? Well, I believe that the boxing body should make sure that the rules are respected, that everything is within honesty, and a straightforwardness that we do really work hard to, for the protection of the health of the boxers, pay the right amount of money to the boxers, that the referee understands his commitment for safety, that everything is done in accordance to the law and the rules and regulations of the organization. What do you think is the hardest thing? I mean, I, I know like recently with, with Chavez Jr., let's, let's say, for example, with him, you've made a ruling that Sergio Martinez will be his next fight. Uh, but then you hear Bob Arum talk, and he names two or three other people that he wants Jr. to fight before Sergio Martinez fights. Yeah, it's a good question. The WBC in Las Vegas at the last convention that Chavez must beat Marti meet Martinez. But as we know, that both had signed TV commitments, Chavez on February the 4th and Martinez on 17th of March. Right. We allowed them to go ahead with their fights, but with the understanding that the winner in February the 4th would have to fight Martinez if he won his fight. And the WBC has not changed a bit about it. But unfortunately, promoters, and especially Mr. Arum is now announcing different things of matter, matters, we are going to proceed in the strict accordance to what we voted for at the convention. If Chavez doesn't want to fight and comply with his commitment with the WBC, well, he's free to go. So then the WBC would strip him if, if they didn't fight Martinez next? Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know the word, so I would say, withdraw recognition from his title. Is that the same as, as stripping his belt? Stripping is a very tough word that I prefer never to use. I'm not really understanding. Jose. How is it? How is? I mean, if if he's not recognized as the champion, obviously he doesn't have the belt, so that would be considered taking the belt away from him, right? Yes, that that's right. But you know, if we are not robbing the belt. We are not stripping it. We are following the WBC rules, uh, the WBC rules that state that we will withdraw recognition of his title. So let me ask you this. So if, if he does not face Martinez and you would withdraw the recognition of that bout, does that bout go automatically back to Martinez since it was withdrawn from him no. the first time? No, no. He would have to fight for the title. You know, uh, would, if, he's not, for... if he's not fighting for the title, we could not accept him as being the champion without a fight for the title. Speaking of your rule, um, let's talk about Texas a little bit. Uh, they didn't do any drug testing for WBC title. No, no, no. In, That's in again, your rule. That, that is, again, the media. Wrongly no, no, that statement. That's in your rule, Don Jose. It says in your no, rule. No, no, no. Let, 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 let me explain, please. Okay. I wrote a letter to the Boxing Commission of Texas. Mm -hmm. We went to the rules reading before the day before the fight, 
and the Texas Commission was there with all the commissioners. The fights took place, and none of the three types of fights had any laboratory there because the lab didn't show up. Nobody booked the lab. That's why, uh, that's why they didn't show up. I don't understand, but that is not the WBC's responsibility because the I, law... I, I, I beg to differ, not, Don Jose. Respectfully, I, I disagree. In, in your rules, and I've covered this story more thoroughly than, than any writer on the planet, uh, in your rules it states that for all your eliminators and your title fights that there should be anti-doping testing. It, it is a very black and white rule. And as I talked to people in Las Vegas who actually follow anti-doping rules, they said that... Well, well, you know, well, that yeah, but let me tell you, please. In the United States, the WBC is almost nul to do anything. We cannot have a laboratory go into an official center of a fight. We don't have the right. We don't have the legal authority. Well, I, I can understand that. In the case uh, of but Texas, I'm thinking... At all the fights, they have a WBC official. And what I was told in Las Vegas, how it works, is that the official of any sanctioning body makes sure to check with somebody and say, hey, is, is the lab here? Because this is a title fight and those are our rules. So I'm told that's, that's the protocol in Las Vegas. What I'm curious about is, is why the WBC official didn't ask that question at this fight. And I hope that someday you and I will have a meeting with rules on my table to ask and show you in writing all our commitments. When I go to Las Vegas, we do not have the right to have anything to do with the laboratory testing. That's a matter of the commission. If we go to London, the same thing. We send the letter, they request the anti-doping, and most of the commissions of the world do it. But this time, for reasons that I do not know, the Texas Commission did not do it. Does it concern you at all that, that Chavez Jr. has been caught before using illegal substances and that Texas No, it, it concerns me a lot. But I know and I investigated myself personally that situation. And I don't believe that Las Vegas did right. He was sick and he was in the hospital given medicine to to get rid of his, uh, I don't know how you say that in English, uh, and he and now he advised that he had taken that medicine. We demanded the lab tests in Texas, in writing and in public, in front of the media. But please, don't take that, Travis. Well, this is the other thing I'm that sorry. bothers me. Is he, got, he got caught by the police for driving under the influence of alcohol two weeks That's before terrible. the fight. That is terrible, I agree with you. Terrible. So, Unacceptable to a professional boxing. Isn't there a morals clause also in the WBC rules? I'm sorry? Is, is there a morals clause also in the WBC rules? We were not aware of that. Only uh -huh. after the fight, when Mr. Marco Antonio Rubio's people told us to the press. Donald, say, I mean... I understand what you're saying, you know, you're upset about the whole Texas situation and your hands are tied in particulars. But going back, if this is still written in, in your ruling and it's it has to be enforced by the WBC and they don't follow through it, what repercussions do the people, the sanctioning and the fighters themselves, what happens to them? I mean, do you let them off the hook? Well, that, that's I mean, a, look, look. Every one of the 160 nations, the national federations are affiliated with the WBC. But in the United States, the boxing commissions cannot, because there is an agreement at the ABC that does not allow them to be affiliated with us. So we cannot do anything in the United States. Now, the Texas Commission is a very good boxing commission. They work excellent, and we like them and respect them. Yeah, Jose, I, I, I wouldn't I just say Texas them. is and that good, that good of a of a of a commission. I mean, they made a mistake here. They didn't even book a, a, a drug test for that fight. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and they've made uh, numerous mistakes. How is that a good commission? Well, uh, what do you, what do you want me to do? 
I'd like to, for you to tell me the truth. They're not a good commission. I mean, that, look, that's false. Just, just one minute. Tell me it's a good commission. Look, look, every word that I say is the truth that I know. I have never lied to anybody. I have always kept my word. But unfortunately, with some people of the United States that I love, take me in the honest and sincere and right way that I've lived all my life. I always say the truth as I know it. Well, Nacho Perez did wouldn't agree with you, but that's a whole other story. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Me, me, I would like to ask to. I would like to answer any question that you would like to have. Any uh, this is what, 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 what confuses me, and it goes back to my original question of, of what is the yes. sanctioning body for? If you have no authority, but you have rules, I, I guess this is. Uh, let me ask you this. No. Who, who did Chavez but we have in order to become champion? We have, we have agreements for every fight. We had a perfect agreement with Texas. We sent a letter with the requirements. We sent a letter asking for the laboratory tests. We go to Texas. We all go to the way in, and we go to the rules reading. In the rules reading, the very BC representative, Alberto Leon it stated publicly that we were demanding the anti-doping test and we have done in all our fights in the world since 1976. Well, I watched you on the video. Have, have you seen the video of yourself that they filmed when you were basically I'm laughing at the managers of Rubio and saying and blowing them off? They were asking for anti-doping. They they just wanted you to collect the samples, and I don't understand but why they collected the collect, no, no, I mean, <laughs> but not the okay, guy you, who was cheating for. Well, let me you tell you, seem, if you, you didn't want to offer any solutions no, or, or anything yeah, at all, I, I don't think, I don't think that I can explain with my truth to you. You believe that we are al allowed to go into the dressing rooms and demand something that we can do in a cup that is. Uh, not uh, uh, that is contaminated. They collected two no, samples. You, other I, I, is, is, is I, this I an interview I mean. that what you're doing is trying to attack the WBC? I thought that it was a media interview. It if is it's a media, media interview, I hope that you listen to what I say, and if you don't like it, okay. But it's a media it, interview that I'm giving you to tell you my truth. It just doesn't, uh, what you're saying doesn't jive with what I watched on the video. And I watched you, this man was looking for, for, to the leader of the WBC, the president of the WBC, for answers. And you yes. laughed at him and, w and walked off. And I, I just wonder why you did that, rather than look I, for I solutions. Didn't, I didn't walk them. off. I did not walk away. No. How? I, I, I'm, I'm using Mark, a, wheel, I will, a wheelchair. I, 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 I think that you confuse me. I am using a wheelchair. How can I walk off? Well, Don Jose, I'll tell you what Where? I'll do. The picture, the picture speaks a thousand words. I will tweet the video to you. You can watch yourself walk off on yes, YouTube. Yes, and we can talk. Like thousands. You know, you know, oh, you are talking, you are talking after the fight when the yes. promoter of Rubio came and started talking to me. Yes. No, I didn't walk away. That's how the if video went. You walking away. If he, if he, if he, if he did that. I will call him for an all public audience. Those those people are not good losers. He's not a serious promoter. He's very new. And you don't know him. He's only attacking and attacking everybody. Promoters, commissioners. And whenever things don't go right to him, he's attacking people. Not me. Anybody. Well, you but, should but don't also say, but see, between the, between you the, should see the other people, not only me. And I saw your organization get sued for $30 million by a fighter that feels like he was cheated. And he won. Who? So I'm kind of having to trust his word over yours. Oh, you, you are, you are talking better. about a 20 years ago case. But we were yeah. robbed by, by a biased judge of New York. You are talking to me on something that is very negative, and I'm going to hang up on you. I thought that you were gentlemen, not, I not, not people... Uh, Negative to speak to me like that. I it's am not negative, Don Jose. We're I am not a thief. You're insulting me. Well, <laughs> that's what you are. You're insulting me. Uh, 